Hello! We are on exercise 16, the half counts. You will notice something very special about this exercise. Exercise 16 is exactly the same as exercise 15, except for this time we have notes, okay? So in exercise 15, we didn't have notes, we clapped, and then I told you to play the notes on C. Now in exercise 16, we have the exact same rhythm, which is the half notes, the quarter notes, and the rest. We have the exact same rhythm, only this time it tells us what notes to play, okay? So really quick, if you don't have the notes written in for this exercise, I would like you to pause the video and then write the notes in. Awesome. If you are finished writing the notes, on, notes in um, your book, we are ready to start the exercise. So remember that C, it starts with C. C is one, two, three with your thumb on the back. Make sure that you're covering your holes so you don't squeak and make sure that your bottom lip is gently tucked over your bottom teeth, okay? Like I said, you don't want to look like the old, old grandma from SpongeBob who looks like this. You kind of just want it to be a little bit over your front teeth, okay? Your bottom front teeth. All right, so half counts starts on C. So we have C, 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 D, rest, rest. Going from C to D, you're only picking up that ring finger. So C looks like this. D, you're picking up that ring finger, okay? Let's try playing C, 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 D together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. How many beats does that half rest, that looks like the hat on top of the bar line, how many beats does that half rest get? That's right, it gets two beats of rest because a half rest gets the same amount of beats as a half note. Both a half note and a half rest get beats, I mean two beats, but the half rest, you're not doing anything, okay? A half note, you're probably playing, right? All right, so let's try C, 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 D, one more time. The first two measures, one, two, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Rest, rest. Now we have E, 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 F. I'll remind you that E, we're in Maryland, so we love our crab pinchers. So it's gonna be one, and then your thumb on the back. And then F is just your thumb on the back, okay? Make sure that your thumb is not on this long key up here, that it's on the circle key down here. So we have E, and then F. All right, so let's play measures three and four, E, 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 F. One, two, Ready, go. Rest, rest. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we got it. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. Now that we have measures one, two, three, and four done, that we practice that together, let's go ahead and put them together. So we're gonna practice all in one shot, we're gonna do one, two, three, and four together. So starting at measure one, let's do this thing. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we got it right. One, two, begin and go. Now, the last two measures are going down the staff, okay? So we start at G, which is no fingers. Remember to keep your fingers close to the keys, but they shouldn't be touching the keys, okay? So G, F is your back thumb, E, one and thumb, D, one, two and thumb, and C, one, two, three and thumb. So it goes G, F, E, D, C. You're going down the clarinet and filling in more, um, more of the keys. One, two, let's try it together. Slowly, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. All right, let's try that one more time. One, two, ready, go. Rest, 
rest. Awesome. I think that we are ready to play the entire exercise. If there's anything that you need to go back and practice because you are a little shaky on it or you want to go back and make sure that you got it under your fingertips, um, you can pause this video and practice um, by yourself whenever you want, okay? So make sure you have it first before moving on to the whole song. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. You'll notice at the beginning of exercise 16, there is a repeat sign. Remember the repeat sign is the two bars with the little dots, okay? It kind of looks like a slash face a little bit if you were to turn it upside down. Um, so that is the repeat sign. So we are going to do that for this exercise. We're gonna go all the way to the end and then go back to the beginning. And you're not gonna wait for me to tell you to do so, okay? You're just gonna go back automatically. All right, starting at the beginning, we're going two times through. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> make sure we got it. I know, take a few deep breaths, okay? I know that was a lot of playing and, and you're not used to that much air and that much of playing your clarinet, but we're gonna do it one more time, okay? So take a few deep breaths, let it out, and then let's do it one more time. One, two, 16, two, ready, go. <laughs> I will have um, exercises 17, 18, and 19 up on YouTube. Um, before you know it, I'll let you know and I'll pin them to your portfolios on Class Dojo. Um, but thank you so much for joining me for um, exercise 16, the half counts. Have a great day.